There are many different training philosophies. Got conjugate, concurrent, west side barbell, 531, periodization, linear, whatever. There are lots of programs. I will tell you, as long as there is a little science that the program is based on, it's going to work. Look at other people who've done what you want to do, try to follow what they followed, stick with it and be consistent. And that's the other thing, your investment. If someone's doing a training five days a week, are you able to invest five days a week? My wife is always a great learning experience. We had a come to God session, walking our dog, made her cry like a child. She was talking to me about training. I'm like, I'm done talking to you about training. I said, people pay to hear me talk about training, to train with me. And I said, I give you free advice all the time and you don't want to listen to it. So I'm done, because I have a trainer hat with my wife. We've been together for over 20 years. Sounds terrible, but I wear the trainer hat. This is it. And I'm like, you can't commit. She'll go five, six, seven days a week for three weeks and then fall apart. I said, listen, commit to three days a week. Commit to three days a week for six months. See your progress after six months, and then build on it if you want to. After six months, I mean, she was up to five days a week, and you know, it really had become a lifestyle. She figured out how to, out how to make everything fit. Everybody gets super gung-ho, especially when they get a new program. Oh, I'm going to do this seven days a week. I'm going to look at your investment. Are you willing to make that investment? Are you able to make it consistent? Consistency will get you where you want to go, and that's with every facet I'm going to discuss today. Consistency. And where does it fit? Because if you have this finite amount of time, whether you add in more nutrition, more programming, more days of training, more recovery, it's not going to work anymore. Sometimes you have to take some things out. And the little things that happen outside you know, are just important. Also, your programming. Sometimes it's fun to trust it to somebody else. Just give it to somebody else. Your body is worth it. You know, how many, I don't know how many people spend, you know, how much people spend on their phones. People spend absurd amounts of money. You know, when I talk to people about nutritionists and I talk to people about uh, trainers, they'll be like, well, I don't know. I'm like, you're telling me, I know how much you spent for that phone and how much you spend every month, but your body is not worth it? You've got to be kidding me. This is the best investment you'll ever have is yourself. There are a number of trainers out there, a lot of great trainers. Some of you are trainers. You know, you know, you can't, it's not always a good fit. Look for people that have been where you want to be, that have done what you wanted to do, um, that you take. Ask other people. You know, the internet's a great thing. I, a lot of people hate the I love the internet because you can find information so readily. You know, you have a trainer that you're interested in, put their name in Google. Find other people, ask, how was so-and-so? I've worked with good trainers and I've worked with awful trainers. So, you know, find, what, find who fits with you. But that one of the best investments that you'll make is sometimes just putting your program into someone else's hands. A lot of you are trainers, you, you have people put their programming into your hands. And for me, I, I've done my programming a lot and I'm my own worst critic. So just some, sometimes tell, someone telling me what to do makes it a lot easier. I have no one to blame, I just do what I'm told. And if you get someone else to do your program, just do what you're told. Because you're a train. it's those of you who are trainers, it must drive you nuts when you have people who won't listen to you. You are paying me. Why aren't you listening to me? So if you're a trainer and you have someone else do your programming, just do what you're told. Um, don't perseverate over programming either. If you do it yourself, write it down, do it. Look at it every couple of weeks. Again, be consistent. Make sure to take some time to reevaluate. If after two months, oh, I only put five pounds on my bench press in two months. It took me three years to put 15 pounds on my bench press and I was really happy with that. You know, again, look at your goals, make them measurable, be honest with yourself. As long as you are making progress, it's a good program. And sometimes, stop, just let it go. Just train hard. You know, be instinctive also. Sometimes you want to take that extra set, that extra rep, or you want, you want your, the person you're training to take the extra, just if the mood is right, go with it. And that's one thing that people are talking about a lot, like uh, um, 
you know, their preparedness for the day. If you're having a really good day, sometimes it's good to push it. Because you know sometimes you're not feeling well, you need to back down a little too. So always consider those, those factors in the training. But really, if you're looking at saying, uh, I don't know whether I'm going to do, you know, 531 or if I'm going to do starting strength, it's not that much of a difference. The, the program isn't going to make that much of it. It's the work that you put into it or the work that you put the client, you know, put the client through. Don't perseverate too much on it.